So what is faith for healing now? It is foundational truths of God's Word designed to teach you how to walk in the fullness of your healing. It's God's will for your spirit, mind, will, emotion, body, finance, and relationships to be whole. So why don't you step into his will for your life? As he asked the question, do you want to be made whole? So sit back and relax, and the next voice you hear will be Reverend Sheila Middleton as WYTV7 invites you to join the Faith for Healing Now broadcast. Well, greatest grace, sozo shalom evening once again to you listeners out there. Thank you for tuning in to WYTV7, Christian Broadcast Network out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I am your host this evening, Reverend Sheila Middleton out of Atlanta, Georgia. And you have tuned in this evening to Faith for Healing Now broadcast. So just prepare your heart and your mind and your whole body by getting your Bible and your pen and your pad and prepare to take notes this evening. I know the Lord himself is here with us. His spirit is present with us. His power is available through his word for you this evening to manifest healing in and through you. So prepare yourself. Again, you have tuned in to WYTV7, Christian Broadcast Network out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Faith for your healing this evening is now. For faith is the substance of the things you hope for and the evidence of things not seen. So prepare to see your healing this evening manifest in and through thoughts, emotions, even will. If your will is out of sync with his will, your body, your finances, and your relationships this evening. For God desires that your whole spirit, mind, will, emotions, body, finances, and relationships be made whole. So why don't you prepare to touch the word of healing for yourself this evening and release your faith in his word for healing this evening so your healing can harvest in Jesus' name. Without further ado, let's bow our heads and pray. Holy Father, we love you and bless and honor you. We give you the praise this morning, this evening, Lord. We thank you that you get all the glory for all the precious and mighty things you have already done, that you continue to do, and that you will plan to do in and through this broadcast, in and through all the listeners this evening. Father, I do thank you for anointing the ears of all the hearers to hear what your spirit is saying to each one this evening. For Father, it's your precious love and your great grace that meet each person right where they need to be met. You always come to each one of us individually and you know exactly what each one of us need. So I thank you in advance for anointing the ears of every hearer this evening and opening the mind so they can understand what your spirit is saying to each one through your word this evening. We glorify you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to us to be the teacher, to be the illuminator, to be the revelator, to enlighten the word this evening. We thank you that your word is truth. And the truth that we know, the truth that we find becomes liberty, becomes our freedom. So again, we thank you 
and we know that the end of this broadcast is going to be much more glorious than the beginning. For there will be those who will enter into your kingdom of salvation, who will receive their healing this evening, and will be restored. For you say in your word, in Psalm 107, 20, that you send your word, your word heals and delivers from all destruction. So we choose to take that word this evening and to be blessed in and through your covenant word of promise. For it's in your precious name, Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Again, for those of you who just tuned in to the broadcast, you have tuned in to Faith for Healing Now with WYTV7, Christian Network broadcast out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I am Reverend Sheila Middleton out of Atlanta, Georgia. I will be your host this evening. You can tune in to the broadcast every Tuesday evening from 7 to 7.30 p.m. And the phone lines are open for you from 7 to 8 p.m. Feel free to call in. The number you can call is set 980-202-2915. 980-202-2915. Call if you have any prayer request for anything at all. We're here to pray with you, to agree with you in and through the word of God. And we thank Holy Father in advance for manifesting his glory in your life. As we come in agreement in prayer through his word, for again, he sends his word to you. Psalm 107, 20. God himself, who is love, sends his word to you to heal you, to deliver you from all destruction. His word never returns to him empty, but it accomplishes all you he sends his word to do. He never not complete his word. I know that's a double negative, but he never not promote his word in your life or performs his word in your life or manifest his word in your life. His very reason for sending his word to you is to deliver you from all destruction and to manifest his healing in your life. That's real good news. And then on further back in Psalm 107, verse 2, you can say, so. He says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So as his word is sent to you this evening, purpose in your heart to receive his word, which is love to you. This is a love, Father, sending his word to his love children. And he performs his promises in your life. So then you become the redeemed of the Lord, love himself from his word that he has sent to you. And you can say so. And you can have an attitude with it. So, so, Say so. Amen. Praise the Lord. So for those of you who are just tuning in to the broadcast, welcome. This is WYTV7, Christian Network broadcast out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I am Reverend Sheila Middleton, your host with Faith for Healing Now. You can tune in every Tuesday evening from 7 to 7.30 to hear the word, not just logos, the written word for you, but also the rhema word that will be revelated. It will unveil to your hearing. It will become 
understanding to your very mind so your mind will be renewed to receive this word for your healing. So prepare to not only hear the word, but to take this gift of healing now. This is faith released for your healing now in Jesus' name. So those of you who tuned in to the broadcast last week, we looked at Psalm 107, verses one through five, and what those verses are to you who have been raised up with Christ, in Christ, in heavenly places, where every spiritual blessing is yours, those verses tell you who you are and what you have in that position as a new creation in Christ Jesus. And it starts out by saying, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget any one of all of his benefits. He has forgiven you of all your iniquities. He has healed you of all infirmities. He has delivered your life from destruction. He has crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies. He has satisfied your mouth with his good words. His words are truth always. His words are promises to you so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. He has executed righteousness for you who have been oppressed. The Bible says that in Acts 10, 38, for those of you who have been suffering in oppression, that God himself who is love, anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. And Jesus went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil. So the same Jesus, when he was walking the face of the earth, who was sent from heaven to live on this earth, and the Bible says in Matthew that he came to teach, preach, and heal all. Well, you are included this evening in the category of all. He is here now to do the same thing he did when he was on the face of this earth. He is still going about healing, teaching, preaching the good news of the kingdom for your healing. And you are present right now to hear his precious words of life, his precious promises for your life, for you to manifest into your healing. You can literally receive the seed of life from his word that's sown into your heart for your healing, and you can harvest the healing for yourself right now. Praise be to the living God, Jesus himself. So let's turn over in our Bible, for those of you who are just tuning into the broadcast, again, this is WYTV7, Christian Broadcast Network out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Reverend Sheila Middleton, your host this evening for Faith for Healing Now. Faith in God's Word for your healing is available for you right now in Jesus' name. For Proverbs 4, let's turn in your Bibles to Proverbs 4. And we'll look at verses 20, 
Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 23. And it says, my son or my daughter, give attention to my words. In other words, put the whole of your attention on my word. Give all your attention to the word that I send to you this evening for your healing. You literally say, attention, I hear you. Give all your attention. I can't put enough emphasis. Put everything to the side, everything else to the side, and give all of your attention to the one who created you. He's all creation. To the one who recreates you, and to the one who brings new creation into you. Amen? And in that new creation is your healing right now. So he's saying, I'm sending you your word this evening. For those of you who have never tuned in to the broadcast, Face for Healing Now, listen attentively to what the God of all creation, your creator, is saying to you by sending his word for your healing this evening to you. He's saying, will yourself to put ten aside everything else right now and give your full attention to his words that are sown into your heart this evening to harvest your healing. Praise the Lord. He says, my son, my daughter, give full, give full attention to my word right now. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. So continuing from the broadcast, and I admonish you to go back and listen to the broadcast from last week, we looked at Romans 8, 11, and Romans 8, 11 shares with you, for those of you who have entered into Christ, this new life in Christ Jesus. He says that the love of God was put into your heart, Romans 5, 5, by his Holy Spirit and the same spirit, the same power, love power, that raised Jesus from the grave. It's the power that's flowing continually through your heart by his Holy Spirit to bring life to your mortal flesh. So we have two different places here that is revealing to you the extreme. I mean, it, we don't even have words for the power of his word. But in this old covenant in Proverbs, he's saying the word, and the word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It changes not. The same word that you hear and receive this evening is life, medicine, and healing to all your flesh. And then in Romans 8, 11, he says that the same power, the same spirit, the spirit of love, who sent his only begotten son to die for you, who took death in exchange for your life, who took sickness and disease and infirmity for exchange for your healing, who took poverty 
in exchange for your prosperity. This same power of love is flowing through you by the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. And he's saying in Romans 8, 11, that this power flow, let's call it sozo flow. As you let sozo flow, he's saying that this same power flow, the spirit of his love that opened the grave of Jesus and raised Jesus from the dead is flowing through you to bring life to your mortal flesh. That's your body. That's your mind. That's your emotions. Your mortal flesh, any part of it that's been infirmed, in pain, sick and diseased or disordered in any way. It's the same spirit. Love himself. God is love. The same love that sent Jesus to the cross is the same love <laughs> that opened his grave and raised him from the dead. It's that same love power that flows continually through you. So in essence, what he's saying is for those of you who search here and search there and go outside for your answer, he's saying, why don't you first try going inside. What I'm here to help you do is develop a vision of the sozo power inside of you. The flow of love himself never stops flowing from the inside of you. So if you would just turn inward into that same power that raised Jesus from death, from hell, from the grave, and put, he's in you. I can't put enough emphasis on it. That power is in you for you to enter into you and release the face into what's already in you to harvest your healing. I mean, we're talking about the law of sowing and reaping here, <laughs> where his word is seed for your healing in you, in your heart. His word that is seed for your very life, for your very health, for your very wealth flow. It's in you. Not just to be dormant in you, but to harvest from you. So the spirit of the living God himself, not only is perpetually flowing or the Bible says in King James that the love of God in Romans 5, 5 sheds abroad through your heart continually and perpetually by the Holy Ghost. Well, he sheds that love, God himself, through your heart, the spirit of God himself, so that your healing can harvest now in Jesus' name. So why don't you just reach out and take the gift? It's not by words, <laughs> lest you would boast. <laughs> it's the gift of love that he put in you for you to take so it can come forth from you. And not only as we stated in previous broadcast, 
Not only are you a faithful ambassador in love for health and manifested healing for yourself, but you become, because it's a continual flow, freely you receive that flow perpetually flowing through you, and freely you give that flow that perpetually flows out from you. So not only are you a faithful ambassador in love for health that manifests and harvests for you, but you are also a faithful ambassador in love of health for others that flows out through you to others. Praise the Lord. So for those of you who are just tuning in to the broadcast, this is WYTV7, Christian Broadcast Network out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I am Reverend Sheila Middleton. Face for Healing Now is what you have tuned in to. And it's not too late for you to lay hold of this covenant word of promise for you. You are searching and you are seeking for answers. And the Bible says, if you, Jesus himself says, if you seek for me, you will find me. Praise be to God. He's not hiding gifts from you. He hides them for you for the appointed time that you are ready to take the gift. So as you release your faith for your healing this evening, faith without a corresponding action is dead. So why don't you not only release your faith for your healing this evening, but take it a step further by taking the gift of healing this evening. It's yours. He so loves you right now that he sent Jesus not to go to the cross and be nailed to the cross and stay on the cross, but he sent him to shed all his blood for you. And in exchange for him shedding all his blood for you and dying on that cross and going into the grave. And in those three days, he went into, the, into hell and he conquered death, hell, and the grave for you. So you don't have to go into the grave. You can live eternally. And while you are living in that life of sozo, eternal life, you are taking your healing. Praise be to God. So thank you all once again as we are coming to a close with this broadcast for tuning in this evening. What a delight it is to have you with us this evening. Face for Healing Now broadcast. Hearing the word of God's love that's been sent to you. And again, Psalm 107, 20 says, the word that he himself has sent to you this evening is word that heals you and delivers you from all destruction. Praise be to God. So enjoy your new life in Christ for those of you who have received salvation this evening. Enjoy your new life in divine health and divine healing and continue to celebrate Jesus as we bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you once again for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you for loving people so much that you save, you heal, you deliver, you rescue, you restore, and you make all things new. We glorify you, Lord 
God as we continue to rise up and continually celebrate you and continually celebrate Jesus and thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to live in us to continue your flow of love in and through us. For it's your, in your precious name, Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Blessings and so those shalom to you. <laughs>